okay, so today uh, I want to kind of finish off this chapter uh, by talking a little bit more about uh, different different questions uh, that involve small changes and approximations. Okay, so yesterday we talked about small changes and I said that if you want to find the small change in Y, okay, we find the differentiation, the value of the differentiation that we multiply with the small change in X. So sometimes the small change, boleh menjadi positif atau negatif, sebab the small change is sama ada dia meningkat atau menurun. Okay, and then we use the small change, okay, to find the approximate value. Okay, the approximate value, so the new y will be equals to the old y, okay, plus the del y. Okay, so this is how we would do the approximation question, except that, don't forget, whenever we do approximation questions, so the hanya anggaran sahaja, okay, we use the squiggly squiggly thing lah. Okay, the, whatever the squiggly squiggly thing is called lah. Okay. So uh, that was what we covered yesterday, and uh, we also covered the uh, questions in the 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 the, 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 the yang itu lah bahkan. So uh, any problem with the questions, ka? Like, is there anything that anything in particular that you want me to discuss? If not, I will just carry on. Anything? Those of you who answer lah, those of you who never answer, then like okay, tapay lah. Nothing, huh? Okay, if nothing, then let me continue. Huh? Um, so there's another type of question huh, uh, that is commonly asked now. Huh? If you turn to page 73, okay, take a look at example 24. Okay, so you are given, huh? so in example 24, you are given the equation y equals to 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. Okay, then you're given x equals to 2. Then there is a small change in x by 3%. So now they're giving to you uh, the small change in terms of 3%. Okay, so there is an increase, okay, in X. Oh, sorry, not even, they didn't even tell you there is an increase, sorry, just a small change. Okay, so the small change uh, is 3%. Tapi, 3% of what? Okay, is the important thing. So, because uh, I know, we know that when you, when you count del X, kan, they must be satu nilai, ba, bukan satu peratus sebenarnya. Okay, so there is an extra step involved. Uh, you have to calculate the small change in X. Okay, so if it's 3%, then it will be 3% of the original value okay, of X. So it will be 3 over 100 times 2, which will give you 0 0.06. And this is the del X. Okay, so nothing really much over here lah, except that I want to introduce to you that sometimes they will give the small change uh, uh, dalam bentuk peratus. Okay, so it's important for us to actually calculate the small change. Don't use the percentage. Uh. Dia bukan 0 0.03 tau. The, 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 sorry, the del X uh, is not 0 0.03. It is 3% from the original value, which is uh, six, uh, 0 0.06. Then you do the rest of the steps like normal. Okay, if you take a look at the example in your textbook, uh, already given to you, lah. find the value of dy dx, lepas kau ganti, you sub in x equals to 2, you get dy dx equals to 5. So therefore, you can find the approximate, sorry, the small change in y, which is 5 times 0 0.06 equals to 0 0.3. But the question is again now uh, asking, what is the percentage of change, okay, uh, in y? So dia bukan menanya, what is the small change in y? No, they are asking what is the percentage of the change in y. Okay, so how we will find the percentage uh, is obviously the del y over the original y. Okay, times 100. So, sorry, uh, let me write this better. So, percentage of change in y equals to del y over y times 100. Okay, so you have to find the old y. Okay, and how we find the old y is the same thing that we did yesterday. We substitute the old x into this one. Okay, so you find that the old y, kalau ikut dia punya pengiraan di sana, the old y is actually equals to 6. Bila kita gantikan 2 di dalam persamaan ini, kita akan dapat y sama dengan 6. So the del y will be 0 0.06 over the old y, which is 6 times 100. 
Okay, so you will get 5%. Okay, so I didn't really want to cover this question yesterday because it involves another extra step now. You have to like think about the percentage, dapatkan the del y, and then count the percentage one more time. So it's like, oh, okay, banyak, banyak betul lah. Okay, but I, I still want to introduce to you this particular question because it's very important lah. Okay, so I want you to try the self-exercise 2.14. Okay, question number four. Just try it for me. Okay, so you have y equals to x power of 5 over 4. Okay, be careful with this differentiation. Dear Chakap, find the percentage of change in x. Okay, careful now guys. Find the percentage of change in x. Okay, when there is a uh, 4% okay change in y okay slightly different now huh, this question compared to example 24 but give it a try and see did anybody get 3.2 me sir you who is sorry who is you fairly oh fairlyn okay can you tell me how you did it uh, first, I differentiate the equation. Okay, so tell me what's the differentiation. Uh, 5 over 4, x, the power of 1 over 4. Okay. And then, uh, cari delta y. Okay. So, delta y, uh, 4 over 100 times y. Okay. So, uh, yang Y punya equation tu, kasih substitute. Oh, okay. 4 over 100 times X to the power of 5 over 4. Gitu? Haa. Uh -uh. Okay. Then I get 0 0.04 X 5 over 4. Okay. This is del Y lah. Mm. Yeah. And then use the formula del Y approaching uh, the dy over dx times delta x. Okay. So, substitute the value and then dapat delta x. Wow, okay. This is so different than the way I was thinking of doing it. Okay, tapa tapa tapa. <laughs> times del x, okay. And then? And then kasih pindah-pindah the the zero point zero four. x to the power of five over four over five over four x to the power one over four. Okay. Yeah. And then dapat zero point zero three two x. Okay. So about zero point zero four divided by five over four is zero point zero three two x to the power of 5 over 4 divided by x to the power of 1 over 4 is x, okay? And then the approaching met, uh, percentage equal to, eh, x equal to uh, delta delta x over x times 100%. Delta x over x times 100, and then? Then, kasi substitute the... Uh, the uh, oh. delta x okay over x times 100 ah okay so potong potong the percent 3.2 percent okay all right uh yeah that's a, actually that's a good way of uh, solving this um if you want to use kalau kau tidak mau menggantikan apa apa lah okay actually what I was thinking of when I was looking at this question, I was like, hmm, macam mana macam cari ini, ya? So the first thing is, uh, fairly is right lah, the one that we have to check, find is del x. So ni, it's a little bit different than the example before. Example before, just find del y, bukan? but now we have to find del x. Tapi kita masih lagi terikat dengan this formula. Okay, tapi it's simple lah, kasih pindah-pindah saja. But now the problem is, Let's say uh, we are very used to this kan. Lepas kita differentiate, we want to sub in the value. Okay, and then lepas tu kau dapati, alamak, dia tidak bagi value. Okay, they don't give you a value for you to sub in. So how are you going to find the value of dy dx? Okay, so uh, I think Farrelin's way of answering is correct. Okay, but I want to offer you an alternative lah. Okay, 
uh, you can choose which one you want and which one you think is easier. Sometimes, if they don't give you uh, what to sub in, uh, kamu yang kena tetapkan sendiri. Because the idea of approximation and change uh, is whatever value of x you put in, okay, kalau dia punya percentage increase is the same kan, dia akan sama for whatever value of x. Uh. So, ini adalah kebaikan uh, kalau percentage increase. If you're not given the value of x lah, or y, uh, okay, tapi kau tetap kena cari dy dx, okay, but because this is the percentage of increase question, you can actually substitute uh, any value of x that you want. And if you take a look at this equation, x5 over 4, kan, the easiest value uh, to use, okay, is x equals to 1. Sebab, 1 kuasa 5 per 4, kan, tetap 1. 1 kuasa apa-apa is tetap 1. So, when x equals to 1, y also will be equals to 1. Therefore, you can count the del y eh, is 4% times 1, which will give you 0 0.04. So, settle sudah come out the del y. At the same time, you can also use x equals to 1 in your dy dx. 5 over 4, x to the power 1 over 4, right? So when x equals to 1, dy dx is actually equals to 5 over 4. So I will get del y approximately dy dx darab dengan del x. DY, uh, del y is 0 0.04, approximately 5 over 4 times del x. I will get uh, del x equals to 0 0.032. Uh, hold on, uh. 0 0.04 divided by 5 over 4. Okay, sorry, 0 0.04 divided by 5 over 4. Yeah, 0 0.032. Then I got the del x with the log. Okay, so the percentage of change, okay, in x is del x over the original x, which I use, okay, times 100. So 0 0.032 divided by 1 times 100 will still give me 3.2%. So, whether you want to use Feralin's way, so cara Feralin ni banyak huruf lah, ada X di sini lepas tu, tetapi sebenarnya itu X akan hilang. Atau, if you want to stick to the method that you are used to, uh, iaitu lepas kamu cari dy dx, then you substitute the value, you choose the value. Okay, and most of the time, uh, the easiest value to choose is always 1. Especially kalau dia punya kuasa adalah macam ni lah, like very strange kuasa kuasa 5 per 4, kuasa 3 per 12, all this weird, weird kuasa kan, use 1. Because 1 now will definitely give you the answer 1 after you power it lah. Okay, so uh, so this is how Feralin did it, okay, which I think is very good, okay. But when I was thinking about this question, I was thinking like this lah, saya pilih itu sendiri. Okay, because the question never asked me to choose mah, so I choose lah. Uh, sebab at the end of the day, kamu dapat jawapan yang sama juga. Okay, kamu dapat jawapan yang sama, so it's okay. Okay, sebab kamu dapat juga menggunakan X sama satu to find Y and to find the value of dy dx. And it's totally fine. Okay, it's totally valid. You can use either way to do that. Page 74. Okay, page 74 first. Let me, let me tell about page 74. Okay, so page 74, exercise 2.1.5. Okay, question number one. You're given T equals to 2 pi square root of L over 10. This is uh, almost the same question that we did yesterday. Okay, find the approximate change in T when L increases, L, uh, okay, increases from 9 to 9.05. I think this one is not too much of a problem lah kan, sebab dia sudah bagi formula. The only susah part uh, is the differentiation for this. Okay, the differentiation will be dt dl uh, because T is our kapala rumus and L is this one. So what you can do is you can watch the video. Actually, this question is almost exactly the same as the question we discussed yesterday, kan? So the watch the video from yesterday to look at the differentiation uh, for this, how to differentiate this. Lah. Okay, uh, question number two. The area of a drop of oil which spreads out in a circle increases from, so the area berubah dari 4 pi to 4.01 pi, okay? find the corresponding small change in the radius. So what are we supposed to find? Del R. Okay. Uh, formula for area of a circle, please, somebody. 
pi r squared. Okay, a equals to pi r squared. So the differentiation of this will be known as what? d what, d what? d a d r. Okay, d a d r. What is the value of d a d r? Sorry, what is the equation of d a d r? 2 pi r. 2 pi r. Okay, so find how, in order to find del r, del a equals to d a d r times del r. Pun boleh. Tapi tetap ini juga yang kamu nak cari. Okay, important thing is to make sure you substitute correctly. Okay, okay, make sure you substitute correctly. That's the important thing. Okay, number three, the length of one side, the length of the side of a cube is x cm. Find the small change in volume when each side increases. Okay, tell me the differentiation involved first. D what, D what? DV, DX. Anybody? Okay, DV, DX, huh? the volume uh, change with respect to the length of the side. Okay, what is my formula for volume? Kalau cube, dia senang lah. Huh? Cube is this. Each side is X, 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 X. Sorry, X, X, X. What's the volume? Okay, x cube. Huh? So dv dx will be 3x squared. Kamu dikehendaki untuk mencari, find the small change in volume. So del what? Del v. Find the small change in the volume of a sphere when the radius increases. Volume of a sphere. Formula for volume of a sphere, please. For See, I want you to by r cube. Okay. Oh, okay, by RQ. Semua orang mau mengelak dari saya menjadi dua orang. Cepat-cepat, unmute, cepat. Okay, okay. Uh, DVDR please for this. For pi R squared. Okay, for pi R squared. Okay, so the same thing lah. Find the, the yada, 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 yada lah. Okay? Can ah? Actually, not that difficult ah, this question. Cuma, uh, today I really wanted to focus on the percentage question because as you can see, ah, there are more, there is always more than one way to answer the percentage question. So this was Farrelin's way and this is my way, but we still get the same answer. Lah. 